Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and for today I will be reviewing this Figma number 23 figure of Ryoko Asakura from the Melancholy of Harui Susumiya anime. So I got this as part of my haul from the recent Toycon PH2022 held at the Mega Trade Hall of SM Mega Mall. So, uh, I got this from uh, Great Toys Online Store at a clearance price. So, I was actually looking for the Itsuki Koizumi one because that's the only fit, one of the main characters of the Haruhi Susumiya series that I haven't bought yet. And still on the hunt. But I was planning on grabbing Ryoko too. So I didn't just didn't expect that I would find her at the toy convention. So I just got lucky I guess. So this is a pre-owned item as you can see. Released way back around probably 2011 or something so this is an old figure and it says here probably school uniform version uh, there you go Ryoko Asakura action figure figma melancholy of Harui Susumiya probably school uniform version so we've got here our uh, Kadokawa hologram sticker so our side of the box with uh, Ryoko on a standing position the other side is just says Figma with the color blue scheme this is the bottom the box same as the top of the box and the back with the usual different poses of Ryoko you can make so we've got our usual product information here from Good Smile Company so this one is already open on. so that's the this is her signature knife the one he used when he tried to kill Kion but Yuki Nagato saved Kion on the uh, other series the Nagato series one Ryoko actually became uh, a good girl or a protagonist and best friend to Yuki. But on the main series, they were really enemies. So we've got our standard Figma base. Our Figma stand. Then we've got a another face plate for Loco. A smiling face with eyes open 
on the figure. She's smiling but with her eyes closed. And we've got another extra head of Taniguchi. So you have to buy a separate figure of Kyon or Itsuki and put this head on that one. So Ryoko comes with a pair of four pairs of extra hand. Wow. A pair of pointing fingers, an open palm, this one probably waving hand. Uh, this one for grabbing the knife and two close fist hands. So let's go to the main figure itself. Uh, Rocco here is very cute with their long blue hair and as you can see she's smiling very devious with her closed eyes closed so we've got our ball joint here no just So we can move her like a bicep swivel, single ball joint on the elbow, a hinge on the hands here, a waist swivel some tie swivel there single jointed knees uh, you can move her feet uh, shoes side to side and up and down mm. she comes with the already prepared to use the knife oh there you go now he's ready to attack yon let's change her face by removing the bangs here and touching the other face plate and there you go we got now the open eyes and smiling face so let's set her up uh, I wanna try my uh, SOS Brigade Club Room Tayorama Oops, sorry about that. So here I've got the, I bought this at Shopee. Uh, right wood green tiles. 
so mini floor tiles because I want to set up the, I want to recreate the SOS club room so bought this place it in a illustration board and glue the uh, right crane floor tiles so she got a 3 by 3 set up here on a pack you will get 9 pieces of this one so before I have this Ryoko I was using this one for my when I do my toy photography so this is the Sega one home room I think home room set so this comes a figure this figure comes with some uh, diorama set to recreate your scene from the anime so this is Sega price so she comes with a, a pot she used for cooking and uh, this desk and chair the school desk and chair and the school locker so I'm gonna add this to my diorama So this is the Ryoko that I used. Comes with the base already and see holding the knife. And this one is a figure scale, uh, I mean a price figure. So no articulation at all. I think she is 112 or mm, almost 112 probably one 113 because mm, this one is the figma is taller so she, I guess she, she still scales well when you put her along with the rest of the figma Haruhi figures so this is the Sega price figure and our Figma one so let's go to setting up the so here we got our locker a Japanese school table and chair she got the pot used, she used for cooking. I'm just gonna put her. Uh, I really want to get the Koizumi one it's just the, it's the only one that I haven't got because he got a a background diorama of the SOS Brigade club room so this is the blackboard I got this from from Google from the internet I saw a picture of this so I just printed it color from colored printer and place it in a illustration board so I could have a, there a background of the school so I'm gonna try to recreate the SOS club room as I can 
So we've got our like a school a locker mini locker and I think they got a mini fridge in there this is our fridge so we got our desk and uh, table for Haruhi and this locker is on the other side so I'll just put it here but this one is really on the other side so we'll just put it there and when they got their meeting they used this meeting room desk and chair meeting room desk and chair this is a Hasegawa model kit so you've got a two sets of desk and four sets of chair so you have to assemble this one first you have to glue it and this accessory is for the 112 movable figure so after assembling this is what it will look like so the color is dark brown unlike this one lighter brown so you just have to either color that one paint it with the darker skin darker dark brown and we've got our chairs so when they're doing their meeting there you go so let's do a scale comparison with the rest of the Haruhi figure of course we've got Haruhi san and Yuki Nagato and we've got our Moe Mikuru and her classmate and friend uh, Tsuruya San so of course we can have the brigade without our male lead character Kion so I'm only missing Itsuki Koizumi uh, Tsuruya san comes with the Emi Rikimidori head so I can add her too so there you go guys Harui is gonna be conducting a SOS brigade meeting so I hope you like my uh, figure review of Ryoko and see you on my next video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.